what we are seeing right now, well, the GameStop phenomena is actually unprecedented. We haven't actually seen that in the history of markets in the sense that usually what would happen is that when in the past, there is some stock that is shorted a lot. GameStop is a company that has a very large short position. And the short position could be justified because this is a business that has been in secular decline for a very long time. So video games used to be very non online. You know, you'd, you'd go to the GameStop store, you'd swap different games, you'd get the console and everything was kind of around a physical store. And now most of those games, those are downloads, you play, play remotely, you play it on your phone. So it has disrupted their core business model quite heavily. And they may, they may have a very difficult time in the future making their business profitable or make it work because uh, the paradigm has shifted. So clearly the people who shorted, uh, so just taking a step back, it is a very dumb activity to short stocks. When you short a stock, your maximum upside is a double. So some stock is worth $100. And I think it's worth zero, for example. So I could borrow the shares from my broker, from somebody else. And I owe them one share of $100 back. Now that share eventually goes to $1. So I sell it, I, I borrow the shares, I sell it. Then later when it's down at $1, I buy it back and I return the share and I pocket the $99 difference. Okay, so that's typically how short selling works when it works. The problem is when it goes the other way. So if I borrow the shares at $100 and it ends up being priced at $500, for example. So I would, when I'm trying to close out my short position, I'd have to buy the shares back at 500 and then return them and I'd have a $400 loss. So in short selling, there's an asymmetry where, where your maximum loss possibility is infinite and the maximum gain possibility is a double. Just from those metrics alone, one should never short. Why would you want to go bankrupt if you're wrong and just make a double if you're right? But nobody listens to me. And definitely the, the people with the big hedge funds don't listen to me. So I have never shorted a stock in my life. I will go to my grave without ever having shorted a stock. It's not because I don't consider many, many things overvalued. I do find many, many things overvalued in the market, but I have no ability to predict when or how those overvaluations would adjust. If something is overvalued, there is nothing that prevents it from getting even more overvalued. So uh, I haven't been watching the game stock stock uh, price as we've been speaking. Where is the stock at right now? Can, can someone tell me where game stocks at right now? Yes, as of this moment, it's at three hundred and three dollars, one hundred and four percent on the day. Yeah. So in the in the online chatter I was reading last night, there were a bunch of gung ho guys talking about taking it to a thousand today. That was their objective. Let's take it to a thousand. And they are hell bent on wiping out one or more hedge funds. And uh, if the hedge funds actually have a short position, not a put, put option, but a short position, and they haven't already covered, and that was a significant short position, I think they are in very serious trouble. So when I look at the market today, we have this weird thing going on with a few heavily shorted stocks that are, are rising because, so this has not happened before. In the past, what has happened is there has been collusion. So collusion is actually illegal. So if I were to form a group with a bunch of people and say, we're gonna just you know keep buying these shares and make the short sellers sweat it out, make the shares go up really high. And then when it gets to some ridiculous number, then we'll you know, 
sell our shares and whatever. In the meantime, the, the short seller has gone bankrupt. There are laws against that. But what is happening on Reddit and what is happening on Wall Street bets is protected, I think protected by free speech. And it's not a group that is colluding because they don't know each other. They're not really particularly trying to, you know, but, it, but it's a virtual group. It is in effect a group. So uh, I'm curious how the SEC deals with this because now they've discovered something which actually breaks down market mechanisms. Market mechanisms stop working in, in these types of situations. It is in general, even if you short stocks, in general, it is very stupid to be shorting stocks that are heavily shorted. So that's like playing with, with fire. So if you want to go short, you could short an index that's safer or a basket of stocks, but or, or stocks that don't have large short interest. But I think stocks like GameStop, BlackBerry, and a few others who are going crazy, it's not good. So when I look at the markets, okay, so one part of the market is these very small number of heavily shorted stocks where there's a distortion. And if I were you, we can get our popcorn and watch from the sidelines and um, entertain ourselves, that's fine. When we get past these stocks into some of the Robin Hood names, you know, the Teslas of the world and so on, we do have bubble-esque characteristics there. I think the game stocks have gone beyond bubbles. It is just, these are mega bubbles. Tesla uh, clearly in bubble territory, according to me. So there's about, I would say, maybe 10 or 15 names of businesses that have gone crazy on valuations driven by the Robin Hood phenomenon. 